Hi friends, my name is Bertie and today let us learn about the layers of the earth. Layers of the earth. Our earth is dynamic and ever changing. We can divide it into three layers. The layers of the earth are crushed, mantle and core. Let us learn about them. The crushed. The earth's rocky and soiled outermost shell is called the crust. It is the thinnest layer of the earth. Its thickness varies from 5 km to 60 km. It is also called the geosphere or lithosphere. The crust can be divided into two parts, continental and oceanic. Continental crust is the elevated crust, having the continents and other land masses. Oceanic crust is the crust below the oceans or the ocean bed. The mantle. The mantle is a molten semi-solid layer which lies beneath the crust. It is 2900 kilometers thick and the thickest layer. It is made up of silicates, iron, aluminium and more. We can divide it into the upper, lower and transition zone. Upper mantle is 410 kilometers from the surface. It is mostly solid. Transition zone is between the upper and lower. The pressure makes the rock much more dense than in other layers. Lower mantle is the hottest and densest part of mantle. It is 660 kilometers to 2700 kilometers from the surface. The core the Earth's core is the hot and dense center. It is a ball-like structure kept solid by the pressure from the overlying layers. It is made up of iron, gold, platinum, sulfur and more. It is called Nifi, nickel and ferrum or iron and centrosphere. Core can be divided into outer and inner core. Outer core is very violent and has a temperature of 5500 degrees Celsius. Inner core is a hot dense ball of iron. Even though it is above melting point of iron, the pressure keeps it solid. It's question time. How were the layers formed? The earth was once an even ball of really hot rock. It kept getting hotter due to collisions with space rocks for the next 500 million years until it reached 1583 degrees Celsius, the melting point of iron. This is called the iron catastrophe. It allowed free movement of substances. The lighter materials like water and air came up to form the early crust and mantle. Meanwhile, the heavier things like iron and nickel went downwards to form the core. This is called planetary differentiation. Let's find out what you've learned today. True or false, the mantle is called Nifi. When the earth reached the melting point of iron, we called it planetary collision. The outer core has a temperature of 5500 degrees Celsius. Fill in the blanks. Dash is called the centrosphere. The dash is the thinnest layer of the earth. The region between the upper and lower mantle is called the dash. Let's have a look at the answers. The mantle is called Nifi. False. The core is called the Nifi. When the earth reached the melting point of iron, we called it iron catastrophe. The outer core has a temperature of 5500 degrees Celsius. True. Fill in the blanks. Core is called the centrosphere. The crust is the thinnest layer of the earth. The region between the upper and lower mantle is called the transition zone. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to put it down in the comment box. Until the next video, bye!